today, there's a major shift we have got to tell you about as Michael's oldest brother, Jermaine, called for an end to the strife. Releasing this statement to Showbiz Tonight, you got to listen to what he's saying. Yesterday, I had a phone call with my son, Jafar, that broke my heart. He asked, is it true that we cannot visit grandmother's house as a family anymore? Enough has become enough. After much soul searching, it is clearly time for us to live by Michael's words about love, not war. In this spirit, I offer a statement by way of extending an olive branch. Accordingly, I rescind my signature from the letter which was sent to the estate and which should never have gone public. I still hold deep reservations about many issues involving the estate, and I will continue to bring scrutiny and a resolute voice wherever we have cause for concern. But the way to address such matters is through the proper channels and via a private dialogue, not public conflict. I regret any distress caused to Prince, Paris, and Blanket that was never, ever the intention of myself, Janet, Reby, or Randy. Wow. Could this possibly mean an end to the Jackson family feud? Well, I'm so pleased to have here to break it down for us in this special Showbiz Newsmaker interview, a true Jackson insider, criminal defense attorney Tom Mesereau, who, of course, famously defended Michael during his 2005 molestation trial that ended with Michael being acquitted of all charges. Tom, it's good to have you back. Thank you very much. I mean, this is amazing, this letter we just saw from Jermaine. It, it, clearly, this whole thing had spiraled out of control beyond the expectations of any of Michael's siblings, I think. But do you really think this is the beginning of the end of the fighting? Well, I certainly hope so. See, what happened here, A.J., was the media coverage of this controversy pitted the welfare of Michael's wonderful children, the welfare of his extraordinary and wonderful mother, versus his siblings' concerns over whether this estate is valid or corrupt. And the overwhelming public reaction was, we want these children properly raised, properly cared for. We want Catherine to be properly respected and her health considered. And the siblings of Michael didn't look too good in this because it, it was made to look like monetary concerns uh, were prevailing in their minds over concerns for Michael's children and mother. This has to be straightened out. So you have to understand... This will benefits his children tremendously. They inherit 40% outright, and Catherine lives off another 40%, and when she passes away, that 40 goes to the children as well. So they will have 80% of a billion-dollar estate that's growing. Now, on the other side, the siblings don't trust the will, don't trust the people who are running the estate, and they have every right to challenge it if they want, but they've got to do it in court, and they can't do it in any way that looks like it's hurting Michael's children uh, or their mother. Um, so thank God they're going to sit down, I hope, and try and straighten this out. They should get the right mediator, someone that they all trust and respect, who has their interests in mind. They should sit down, bear their souls, and try and find a way to stop this, because it's been very negative for everyone. Yeah, I agree with you. And, uh, you know, obviously the sympathy of the public was not really at all in the corners of the siblings, which was really strange, and particularly when it came to Janet Jackson, because Janet was in many people's minds, the most unlikely person to be involved in something like this. And another big development today in the whole Jackson feud was Janet Jackson's attorney demanding that a, uh, there's a, a retraction from TMZ over its report suggesting that Janet physically and verbally abused her niece, Michael's daughter, Paris. And this report surfaced after this surveillance video of Janet and Paris appearing to argue was first released. And look, I'm glad that Janet set the record straight about that. Tom, tell me, from the time that you have spent around the Jacksons, what was your sense of Michael's relationship with Janet and Janet's relationship with Michael's kids? Well, remember, I represented Michael during his darkest hour. He was charged with 10 felony counts of conspiracy, child molestation, a horrible allegations that he gave alcohol to a child to molest the child. Uh, this was his darkest hour. So that's when I got to know him, and all of his family rallied around him. They all supported him during that trial. Uh, they were a united family, and I was very impressed with that unity. And Michael was very grateful for it, believe me. Um, that's my primary experience uh, with the Jackson family. I've been in touch since. My law firm partner, Susan Yu, who was my co-counsel in the trial, she helped Michael for about nine months after the acquittal when he moved to Bahrain, straighten out his affairs. Uh, then after that, we withdrew and moved on to other matters. But 
uh, the family has always been very united. Uh, there are always going to be differences in large families. I've said that before. And when you put fame and fortune in there, there are going to be, you know, even bigger differences. But, you know, my, my impression of Michael was that he was very proud of his family, that they really stood by him during that trial. And it was all very positive. So I'm very happy that it appears this thing is going to, uh, uh, they're going to try to straighten it out. It's probably not going to be simple because the siblings don't trust the estate. And the estate does benefit Michael's wonderful children. And uh, there are some built-in stress factors there. But they've got to talk it out. They've got to treat each other with respect. These children are teenagers. They have to be raised properly and respected as well. Catherine is the most wonderful woman on the planet. Her health is important. And I hope they sit down, as Jermaine has suggested, and work on all this. It has been suggested, Tom, that Janet is perhaps concerned about taking on the financial burdens of the other siblings who may not have all that much money. I have to ask you quickly, do you think there could be any truth to that? I have no idea, A.J. I haven't been privy to discussions between Janet and her siblings. That's not my business. I don't know what they've asked her for or not asked her for. Uh, I think that's pure speculation. Uh, unless someone has really direct evidence of what they've talked about and, and how people have responded, you know, I don't think we really know. Okay. I don't know if anyone's leaning on Janet or not leaning on Janet. Yeah. I don't know. No, that's, fa that's fair enough, Tom. And I always appreciate your special insight as someone who's really gotten to know this family over the years. Tom Ezra, thank you so much for being with us.